In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the most must-have routes in your offense. And we're going to be talking about this from the perspective of a really critical ability that I think will take your offense to a completely uh, new level. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's free to subscribe to the channel here. We do daily videos that help people get better at Madden. So if you're looking to get better at the game, it's free to subscribe. And also, I wanted to talk uh, just briefly about my Patreon. Uh, we're going to be showing you a little route concept that you can do out of any formation but if you want the best offensive and defensive ebooks in man 23 make sure that you join our patreon our patreon members get access to all of our man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks for just 10 bucks you get access to everything we just released our u trips ebook and our nickel over defensive ebook so far that makes nine offensive and defensive ebooks that we've released um, within the first couple weeks here of man 23 and the content is not going to slow down we're going to continue to ramp it up for you guys um, the cool part about the patreon is you get year round support as well as long as you're a member you'll be able to get all of the updates to those ebooks all of our updates are um or all of our ebooks get updates throughout the year as well as the meta changes and shifts and routes and um, abilities come out which is what i wanted to talk to you guys about in this video and that is a really important ability that you probably haven't thought that much about uh but it's actually probably the most important ability in on offense and it's not a passing velocity actually it is outside apprentice outside apprentice in my personal opinion is the most important ability in man 23 on the offensive side of the ball the reason why is because it contains within it some of the most important routes in the game not only for beating man but for beating zone and we're going to go over my favorite one in this video which is the c route now if i go over here i'm going to put keenan allen um, at the inside trips receiver potentially and then for the Chargers, um, they have Mike Williams who gets outside apprentice as well. Now, um, outside apprentice can ch literally change the game for any offense in this game. It really can. Um, and I'm just going to show you why. So uh, what I can do, you'll see outside apprentice. What does outside apprentice do? If I try to hot route Mike Williams on the outside, you're going to see that it's going to give him four different hot routes than you normally would get on the outside receiver those hot you, you literally see here it says at the bottom right superstar right uh, obviously hot route master will eventually solve all of this stuff once we get that in mutt but right now um i just think there's really no more important ability than outside apprentice and it's for a couple key routes the first one is the c route the c route is honestly it's probably the best route in the game um because it gets really good separation against man so uh what you're going to see here is i am going to show you one of my favorite plays right now this is pa slot corner if you're watching you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook which we're getting ready to put a major update in our patreon for this by the way uh join the patreon 10 bucks gets you access to everything and the trips tied in offense i think is i i personally love it i think trips is always um one of the better offenses in the game but what you'll see here is by utilizing the C route, um, I can throw this on the cut and I can also throw it into the stands because I still haven't mastered uh, the freeform stuff. But what you'll see is, and again, Mike Williams doesn't have the route running. I'll show it with Keenan Allen in just a second. But what you'll see here is if I pass lead him on the cut, I can aggressive catch this even if it looks like I'm covered. I can actually go ahead and make plays. Now, another really hidden gem of outside apprentice is our ability to motion snap it so you see here i'm going to motion snap it now he's going to be unbumpable and now i can get the ball out there a little bit more now let me uh use keenan allen because mike williams is um his route running is just not quite as good uh the best player to do this with in mutt by the way uh, potentially Andre Reed. I use Randy Moss and he does just fine for me, but watch Keenan Allen. Look at the difference. And as you can see here, I can get over the top of man to man coverage. If they not, if they don't have any safety help, this is honestly the best route in the game to bomb man coverage. In my opinion, because if they don't have uh, a deep zone, then what you'll see here is if your receiver wins on his route, right? If he wins on his route, this thing, just lob it up over the top. You need to learn how to freeform. Obviously, I'm trying to learn how to freeform as well. Um, I'm definitely not a not a big fan of freeform passing yet. Um, but what you'll see here, I'll run I'll run a C run on both sides. And if you just notice here, look at how much separation Keenan Allen gets uh, compared to Mike Williams, which I'll show it instant replay. Now, the main reason why, and I'll show you in the ratings here in just a moment. But if you look here on the right, like Keenan Allen, obviously this is a touchdown if I make a good pass, right? I just 
I mean, I don't know how I didn't animate to catch that, but whatever, okay? So anyways, back over on this side, you're going to see here a little bit different. He gets pressed, and I mean, there's a small window, but it's not super effective. Uh, and I'm going to explain why this is the case. So when you run C routes, in my opinion, and again, I think this is one of the most important routes in Madden 23, you want to, if you take a look at the route running ratings, the route running threshold that we're trying to shoot for um, is basically 85 on all Madden. Mike Williams does not hit any of those thresholds, as you can see here. Keenan Allen hits those at every single level of route running. Therefore, Keenan Allen is going to consistently get separation. So I'll show you something really neat. So if I move Mike Williams and put him in Keenan Allen's uh, spot, which we'll just illustrate this with another formation so I can show you it works out of other formations as well. And I also want to show you something that I think is really underrated about C-Routes. Um, it, it's kind of why outside of Prentice is, like I said, I think the most important offensive ability in the game. So you'll see here, if you look at Keenan Allen on the left side, um, I'm going to call Pat's verts, and then I'm going to put Keenan Allen in a C-Route. And what you'll see here is again here they actually get a good press animation but again his route running he's going to be able to get this open now another thing that you might have noticed watch this this is also something that's really interesting about c routes um if i am off of the ball as you see williams here is off of the ball watch this see how he gets a lot more separation that's because he's going to basically be unbumpable uh for this so that's another little pro tip with c routes now, another thing about C routes is not all C routes are created equally. And uh, we're going to show you that with this right here. So if you take a look at Corner Strike, which Corner Strike is one of the premier plays in our Gun Bunch ebook. It's one of the plays that I really recommend running against Zone. Um, you're going to see here that it gives us a C route on the left. Now, um, I'm going to put Williams on a C route to the right. I want you to look at this. Do you notice a difference? Williams on his C route is a little bit more... Um, it's just a little bit more exaggerated. Allen's is sharper, and you would think that Allen's would actually beat man-to-man -man coverage better. In this example, it does, but still at the same time kind of doesn't, as you see. That is something that I think is super, super important when we're talking about these C routes. Not all C routes are created equal. The outside apprentice C route is actually different than the corner strike C route, for example. And then as you're also noticing here, if I flip this play, watch this. I think this is so interesting. So if I flip this play and I motion him out and put him on a C route, I want you to watch what happens. So here we are. I motion him out and put him on a C route. Watch. He'll win. He'll win every single time. He'll win every single time. Why will he win every time? Because he's off the line of scrimmage. Um, I have just noticed, and this is just my opinion, but generally speaking, if they are not on the line of scrimmage, they tend to win more. They also tend to win more to the left side of the screen. That's another thing that I've been noticing about C routes is they do tend to win a little bit more to the, the left side of the screen. Uh, but anyways, this is a route you need to get in your offense. Um, if for nothing else, then it's ability to beat zone. Now I want to spend a few minutes talking about its ability to be, uh, or uh, for its ability to be man. I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about its ability to be zone. So here's cover two. And watch the C route on the left. You're going to see that with free form, and again, I'm going to butcher my, I'm, I'm still getting the hang of it. But with free form, I can put the C route into kind of a small window. And what you'll see here, that the, see how that corner can't make, a, or that safety can't really play on that ball? That is um, one of the beauties of this, okay? So again, we're just going to pass like this essentially into the soft spot of the zone right in that little window right there. And again, I don't know. I think I'm just passing it too sharply. Uh, I'm sure that's what it is. But you'll see here right there. There it is. That's the that's the that right there, that pass lead and that throw is going to open up your entire offense because now they can't just run. Um, they have to be a little bit more thoughtful in what they do. The same thing with cover three. You'll see here there's a small window right there, and you want to aggressive catch it on the sideline if you get in trouble, okay? Um, but the beautiful, or the I think the beautiful thing about a C route is if I pair it with a streak. So like on the right side here, we're going to pair it with a streak. Now what you should see is that third will get pulled back so far that I can go make a play. And I threw that a little bit too early, uh, but I'll show it to you again. So again here. We're going to put him on the C route, and then we've got this little um, streak. 
what you're going to see here is the streak pulls that back and then you see how i can throw that with an outside and underneath pass lead and i'm able to put that in a tight window that i wouldn't otherwise be able to do um, and you'll see here on the left side here's cover three again pass lead down and away and you got to lab up the c route to be honest um, it's a timing pattern it's certainly a route that is very powerful when you get the hang of it but this i i really believe we're in the year of the c route and you but the thing is it's the outside apprentice c route it's not the regular C route. In years past, you wanted these sharper cutting C routes. In Madden 23, you want this more kind of rounded C route, uh, pass lead that down and away. And again, uh, I'm gonna butcher pass lead, but you see the ability. Now, um, the, be the, the beauty of this is we're not done with outside apprentice by any means. There's other routes that you get with this that you just need in your offense. I'm gonna show you another one. Go back to trips tied in and um, we're gonna show you the skinny post. So the skinny post is, uh, it's not 100% consistent by any means, but it's always year over year, one of the most important routes you can have in your offense. Why? Because if they run cover two, he is going to split the safeties with the skinny post. Now I recommend if you're gonna run this skinny post against man in Madden 23, I would recommend not smart routing the post. Okay, let him kind of run his default deal. And then there, obviously, they had middle third, but you see the idea. Because again, here's the chess match we get into. Now they deep half over here. Okay, but there's nobody in the middle of the field for our skinny post. So if our skinny post can get separation, we can throw that. And of course he didn't right there, but we can throw that against against man. Short out of lead is the best ability by far that I have found up to this point, um, with the exception of maybe route tech, of course, when that comes out. But you you normally will with these uh, posts. So let's say we kind of bait them. Let's say we run a C route. Um, let's say we have two outside apprentices, just just for fun, and because we do in this video. And let's say we run something like this. Watch the skinny post on the right side. They're putting a deep half there for the um, whatever for the C route, and you see that now that is going to split the safeties. So these two routes together can really help your offense a lot when it comes to man coverage and zone coverage. Now another route that I want to uh, last route I want to show you is the uh, post corner. The post corner is a really good route for breaking down uh, zone coverage. And why is it good? Because it's going to let the zones get pulled back. And then you're going to be able to throw it with an outside pass lead as I got Nano A-gapped out of a three or four man rush there. Uh, welcome to Madden 23 practice mode. But anyway, you'll see right here. So I'm going to put Mike Williams on a post corner and then I'm going to streak the slot next to him. And what will happen is that slot pulls that guy back. And now I can throw that right in that same little window. So kind of similar to the C route. Another thing that you get with this post corner route um, that's kind of unique here is you can pass lead it inside and click on an aggressive catch it and essentially make it almost like an in route against man to man. But the, be the, the, the nice thing about it is if they're in zone or not zone, I'm sorry, let's say that let's say that you don't like the separation that you get. Well, you can wait on him and now he's going to cut to the outside and tend to have pretty decent separation. So if they're going to shade like this is something that a lot of people will do once you start to hit them with certain things, they're going to shade outside, right? Because they don't want you to hit them with the C route and they don't want, you know, all that. Well, now my post corner route, when I pass lead this, I can just pass lead him inside, click on with the free form. I think that's a great way to beat man coverage. And then now you're going to get into this chest match. Well, let's say they shade inside to cut off this pass um, on this post corner, then what you should be able to do here is when he cuts outside, you should have that small, small little window on the sideline. So the post corner is another really versatile route that you can add into your offense. But guys, the best, again, the main takeaway from this video is uh, I believe this ability costs one to two AP depending on the player you're trying to put it on. And I can't stress enough the importance of being able to have the C route for man and for zone coverage. You'll see here, I mean, I've literally started to almost build my offense around this route because it's so powerful, especially when he's off the line of scrimmage. You'll see here again, every single time we're able to get that separation. And a lot of times we'll be able to get a good, uh, if we get a good pass lead, we'll get a good uh, a touchdown. 
I want to thank you for watching this video. This is something you can pick up and apply to any formation in this game. But guys, if you want to get better at Madden 23 and you really want to take your game seriously, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. We've got nine offensive and defensive ebooks, and we've got a ton of updates on the way for all of those um, ebooks. And uh, we also have a great messaging platform in there to answer your questions. So if you haven't signed up for the Patreon yet, it's only $10. You can sign up right now. Head down to the description below. Click the link down there. And we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.